but also we are into deconstructing and reconstructing geometries and architectural design. So there is a design which is 60s and 70s inspired, and it's kind of an evolution of deco. Deco which is evolving and now is becoming kind of modern and postmodern and the, in, the, uh, we are seeing a lot of you know enameling uh, either in contrast or like with, with but definitely the evolution of geometry so we are deconstructing to reconstruct as you can see those are example of this evolution of deco um, that it's really taking geometry apart and reconstructing uh, also the use of minerals, look at here, malachite. So gemstones are not just the usual gemstones as, you know, emeralds and amethyst, but also the large use of um, in minerals, diamonds in combination with, uh, uh, again, enamel. And so color is becoming very, has become very important. Speak up. Speaking and creating jewelry with languages, ancient languages. In this particular case, it's Islamic language. This is uh, Bill Arabi. She's a Lebanese designer based in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Dubai. But there are many designers that they are communicating and, and they are sending messages either in words or with emoji or, or elements, but with a humorous approach uh, it's like speaking up and be proud of who you are. So I like that Bila Rabi, uh, she's, again, it's one example. There are many other designers, but she, I think she does a great job with creating uh, jewelry with Islamic uh, 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 letters and with messages. So she made something that, you know, uh, positive, uh, especially if you consider that, you know, world, in the world there was a moment that, you know, Islam was viewed negative because of terrorism. Instead, there is the pride of, of a designer and a culture that is making jewelry and makes beautiful uh, creativity out of that. So you can see how people is speaking up about their culture and they are doing it more or less seriously but they are doing, they are, they are basically proud of themselves and, and, made, and making a point. Ancient wisdom, uh, uh, investigating history, searching for a forgotten wisdom, wisdom that includes beauty and philosophy and intriguing for all generations. Classic culture and mythology that could be from India, they could be from you know, the Mediterranean, they could be, it doesn't matter from ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and symbols to relics from royalty and divinity, we are fascinated from the unknown now more than ever and the mystery. How does it translate in jewelry? In jewelry is about carving, I'm sorry, carved gemstones and coins and, and mosaic and enamel and figure and, and carved jades. Whatever it is that it fascinates people about their 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 legacy their, their heritage it's the worldwide it doesn't matter where you are people we want to have that piece of history um and and meaning uh, and and divinity in terms of also inspired by divinity could be mythology could be ganesha could be anybody uh, but people is really fascinated by it and and in this world of of ancient wisdom there is regality being royal, the fantasy of being something that is far away and, and, and but beautiful. Um, so the beauty of, of regality and royalty. The divine, you can see divinity in the sense of not necessarily a religion, but divine by light, by God, by, by superior um, uh, knowledge. So as you can see, these jewelry are from all over the world. But as you can see, they are inspired by the divine. The tales of tell. Daydreaming has been the way out since the beginning of humanity. Escaping digital reality in a world of fantasy where everything is possible and magnificent. But I need to add the point. We need to escape after we've been locked down. And actually, we, are, we need to escape why we are locked down 
because it's only through our fantasy, through our imagination, that we are able to create and design a better world, a different world for our future. Theatrical scenes, artifacts, amusing creatures, unexpected combination, exotic tales, and of a morphing society. We are a morphing society even before Corona. Now we are accelerating and it's a quantum leap in evolution of humanity. A bygone beauty, a beauty that goes beyond time, nature, nature that goes always beyond time, nature claim, claim their, their time. We, they, 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 we, are, we have been killing our planet I don't know if Corona is a reaction to Mother Earth, but definitely nature is cleaner after two months of lockdown. So we have to listen to nature and nature will be, we have to cherish it and we be always in, in our jewelry and it is our muse and it is our divinity because it's our Mother Earth. So nature, it's more graphic. There is enamel, there is color, it's color, but it's changing, but it's still nature. Nature in a modern perspective with a digital perspective. Still in nature, what we call the shape of water, nature with underwater and wild and, and almost amusing creature, at times on almost uh, uh, scary nature, but fascinating nature. All nature is beautiful. And even the, 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 call, the beauty codes today are different. It's not about perfection anymore. It's about imperfect as imperfect. Imperfection and mismatched jewelry are definitely in need, especially collection are no longer sold matchy-matchy because consumers style themselves in their own way. The need for piercing and body jewelry and body piercing has, has created the need for individual earrings or ears or pierce to be sold. Uh, everything that is unusual, odd, mismatching is in demand. Craft culture. Craft culture still in this world of, you know, daydreaming, it is in demand. So you, India, uh, there is the most incredible and magnificent craftsmanship. Do not let your craftsman die. Cherish them, keep them protected, and take it to the next level. Develop schools because this is our treasure and, and crafts and craftsmanship is cherished from all over the world. Look at this. This is a, this is a believe it or not, a Russian designer that is doing, um, you know, Persian and Mogul are here vignettes in enamel and then gems, car gemstones. It could be done from an Indian, but it's done by a, a, a Russian. But what I'm saying is look at how the world, in which direction the world is going. Last but not least, this digital dharma, and this is like this holistic approach to life, digital hallucination of modern psychedelia. Um, it's, it's really like we are now celebrating life in a different way. Let me go here. New moons, holistic spectrum, augmented reality. Um, jewelry are becoming more, almost like I said, spiritual and also healing. And this is part of Indian culture. That's why it's called digital dharma more and more from diamonds, either rough diamonds or like sliced diamonds, to even crystals, rough crystals and gemstones that they can be healing for our body because gems and, and, and like they're giving green energy to us. And last but not least, technology and how technology is being translated into jewelry. Um, now, with this, I end this quick perspective. Of course, those are like, let's say, design direction. Not all of this direction, the way they are presented are good for mass market production, but conceptually, in a different way, in a maybe scaled down way, in a different storytelling way, this is what people will be asking and searching either on Amazon or in a website or whatever, they will be looking for this kind of emotional 
um, uh, content in June.